As a developer, we come from a background uh, developing AAA games for console, and since then we've moved into developing mobile games. For us, AR is the next step in that process, so we're now developing AR apps. Compared to creating other apps, uh, the process with AR apps I think is very different because so many of the ground rules have yet to be set. It feels to me like the exciting early days of video game development when every day you would come up with a new genre and a new type of gameplay to integrate. So uh, to me it's a really exciting space to be in. We approach conceptualization and design in AR applications in very much the same way that we would in AAA games, but we pay so much attention to that early stage of prototyping, design, looking for great human-computer AR interface uh, excitement. Uh, I think that's where a lot of apps fall down at the moment, and it's one of the opportunities to really raise the game is through great testing, great user feedback, and making sure that the controls and the interface feel fantastic. Qualcomm's AR SDK has made it extremely easy for us to prototype, design and develop our ideas and concepts. We've used a lot of the, uh, a lot of the available AR technology and it wasn't until we settled on the, the Qualcomm SDK that we were able to quickly get all of our ideas into real projects and developments. The interesting thing about AR apps and the, the coming changes is I can't tell you how AR apps are going to, to change things. I get most excited when I look at a field where I don't know the answers yet. And game development was like that 15 years ago when I started to get excited about it. And augmented reality is that right now. I don't know what's going to come out tomorrow and excite me. And that's, that's phenomenally, amazingly interesting as a developer.